What is up guys, it is Duke, and today we are going to be looking at farming post update. Really what a lot of people were worried about with this update was that loons were going to be nerfed. They saw the different drop times, they saw how slowly they were going to actually be moving, and they really got nervous thinking that loons were going to be done in war and in farming. I can show you what I've been doing since the update as far as the farming goes. And my results have really not changed whatsoever. We're going to go through three different replays here. Then we're going to get into a live raid. We're going to discuss a little bit about the update and how it is affecting farming. So we got some extra spells going in here. Some clone spells. Some heal spells which could help out with, with your farming. With war of course. But I know a lot of people are starting to use heals in with their loons. Which is an actual really good idea. You can just ask my buddy Cleric Dragoon over at his channel. He's posted videos about it, really displaying those attacks with the heals over top of the loons. I know I personally like to use raids just because I feel a little bit better in my heart about these things getting through and the rage popping down on top of the loons, going through, just creating a little bit more destruction. But we're going to get in. We're going to check out three different raids here. We're going to go into my activity log here. We're going to see some of the some of the loot that I've been pulling in here. As you can see, since my replays have wiped, I did have kind of like a, uh, a Queen Walk uh, P.E.K.K.A. Giant army that I was using just for um, fooling around a little bit, changing up. But right here, you can see these are post update raids here. So first one is 4,334 dark. That is really the main thing that I'm going to be looking for. Just the dark and not really worried about the loot over on the left hand side there. Uh, I'm doing well enough. I'm far enough along in my uh, Town Hall 10 base where I really don't need to worry about gold or elixir. Uh, my lab is up and running and my lab upgrades usually last about 10 to 14 days. So elixir I'm cool on. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the first replay here. We're going to check out the loons and how they come across. Here is a extremely rushed Town Hall 11. Uh, this guy really has no business being up at Town Hall 11, but hey, more power to you. More loot for me. As you can see, there's a big, fat, juicy uh, Dark Elixir storage right there. And we have some uh, baby drills there with uh, packed out with, with Dark Elixir in there. But mainly just dropping down the loons, just spamming the loons. Uh, if you want to spam attack in farming, that's fine. I'm cool with that. You guys should be too. But going ahead and just leaving that Dark Elixir really exposed. Still have the Big Bird up and running. His level 14 queen is not going to do much against my level 6 minions here. I still have the heroes. I have the king down. I think I'm still holding the queen in my back pocket. Brought the wall breakers in just to see if I needed to get through there. But queen, she's not going to do much. Uh, on those minions they're going to take her out quick that loon is going to swing over towards my hero but i'm taking out that dark elixir storage and we are all the way down to 42 zero dark elixir i took every single last a bit of that so right there going ahead and and taking out a good chunk of this base here before i jumped out 4334 this was my first attack out of the update with the loons i was a little bit nervous because i saw a lot of people on the forums and in chat kind of worried about where loons were going to be they said there is no more spam uh loon farming no loonian no la loonian farming going on i got a little bit worried so first time in with these results i was pretty happy so what i want to do is before i get into my next uh replay let's go and check out the um the army cost and what it looks like here so for my La Lunian army, we're talking about 314,000 elixir and 886 dark elixir, which is honestly, it's not that bad. If we're pulling in over 4,000 uh, dark elixir, it means we're netting at least 3,200 right there. And uh, that's big. That is really, really good results here. So even on the bottom here, if you look at like a Queen Walk, a Jai Barch, a lot of guys like to use some uh, Giants in and Barch. You're talking 274,000. That's only, what, 40,000 difference. So 
that's really not going to make or break how you should be raiding. What I like about the La Lunion army here is that you can hit any style of base here unless it's an extremely uh, maxed out, pimped out Town Hall 11, which you really don't want to get on. I try and stay away from some of those big boss Town Hall 11s, but even like a maxed out Town Hall 10, I can go in with this La Lunion army and not worry about just getting uh, beat up and ran out of there. But if I'm using like the Queen Walk Jai Barch, uh, I won't be able to take as much of the base down or as much as the uh, the resources in there as I personally want to. So if I want to go after a dead base, if I want to go after a beast base here, this army is going to do it for you. I know my buddy Echo threw me. He's already using uh, the La Lunion army and he's a brand new Town Hall 10 and he's loving it. Uh, he's working his way through getting in with those army camps up, getting the drill up and starting to get into his lab and do some research. So this is a really good army. If you ask me, I fell in love with it when I really started using. And so next one we're going to go into is get in with a, what are we going to go ahead and do? We're going to do 5,500 dark elixir here. So if you look, we're going to pause this out here. And th this base here is no slouch. It's an old school ring style base here, squared off, but... As you can see, he's got uh, really good heroes. Is that like a level 40 queen? Let me see if I can pop. Okay. So he's got the level 40 queen floating in there. Uh, he's got maxed out infernos, pretty much all maxed in maxed out defenses here. So as you can see, there's 6,700 dark elixir here. Most of it is found in the drills up there. We have two drills up there and then one drill sitting down there. So let's go ahead and see what we can pull off of this one spamming right from the top i always like to use one actually one hound on each air defense there as i can kind of get that distraction and get them raged down here uh, i like a little bit of overkill so I, i'm not shy about using my spells i like to throw them down i don't like to really hold back and say hey maybe we can uh save some of that to save a little bit, bit of elixir for me it's you know all in i'm putting all my chips on the table and as you can see just cleared out that core there was able to just really wipe that out and let the minions come in and get to that uh, clan castle there and then they're going to jump into that dark elixir storage i dropped my king down on the bottom there just to uh, kind of shield up my queen so she can get in there as you can see drop the wall breakers in because i'm going to go after that dark elixir storage there so minions are working on that town hall they do not get it but that's fine i was able to get pretty much almost every little bit of the this loot in here and left 1200 on the table but still i think that really gave us 5500 dark elixir which is awesome uh, I was loving it and we were able to still get a good uh, chunk of that loot bonus here, which I think at Champions 2, we might be looking at 1,200 for Dark Elixir for the drill, bo for the, um, for the, for the league bonus, for the loot bonus, which is really good. So you're talking over 6,000 in Dark Elixir with this army. It's great. I really don't know what other army you're going to be able to use to uh, do this much damage as far as getting in. And clearing out a base of course we did leave a little bit of dark elixir on the table there and a little bit of that loop but I'm not worried I'm still happy to come out with 5500 and you guys should be too there's no reason to be sad about that can't be hating on that so let's go into another one here so back to back I was able to get another 5500 uh, and this is on a rushed town hall 10 here as you can see he's got his uh, for some reason he has the Dark Elixir Drills on boost. Uh, I really don't see that too much anymore. Same style attack here, dropping down. Two hounds, one for each air defense air, bringing in the loons behind, dropping down the rage spells, minions kind of uh, hovering around behind. Uh, I think I go through and take pretty much all of this in a 100% uh, win here. I don't really know, like I said, just to reiterate, I don't know what other army you're going to use unless you're using hogs. Uh, rolling through here unless you're uh, you're using go wipe if anybody ever even still uses that in uh, In real life clash of clans. I'm not sure But as you can see this base was so underdeveloped that my loons were able to go ahead and just swarm You can see the minions just having a little party up there at the town hall They're about to drop that but loons just go through here and wreck it I don't think I even had to drop my heroes down on this send my wall breakers in because I do not like leaving I got a little bit of uh 
uh, OCD as far as leaving all my troops out there. So I had to drop my wall breakers down, send them in to uh, wherever, but was able to go through and get the 100% on this guy's base here. So sorry, Barracoon was able to just go ahead and wipe out your base, clear it off. All that loot is for me because I'm trying to go ahead and get my king up to level 37 as we're pushing into level 40 king status here. 40-40 heroes is what I'm all about trying to get to. So we're uh, we're doing a good job going ahead and getting there. So as you can see, loons really are still a viable, still st extremely strong. There might have been a little tiny bit of a, uh, a nerf to them, but... Uh, really nothing that you can tell in your farming if you guys were using loons before make sure you're still using them because they still are an excellent option what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump into a live raid I think we have uh, an army queued up here we have an army in the hole there I got my loon and uh, hound in my clan castle which the boys over here at Red Onslaught are always uh, super cool about donating whatever I like to keep my army queued up so that I can give back uh, to what these guys are giving me so we're going to go ahead we're going to look for a raid uh, i'm not sure how long it's going to take i'm going to be a little bit picky because i'm not jumping in for uh for any cheap cheap loot here so we're going to cut back and we will jump in when we find one okay looks like we found our target here this one is a 5,000 dark elixir uh i said i didn't really stress too much about uh the other resources here but we got 600 dark we got 300 regular elixir uh, I'm a little concerned about this one here because there's a lot going on in that core. You have the uh, Inferno Towers in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to target these two air defenses there. And we got to get in pretty quick. So we're going to go ahead and go one, two down. Uh, I actually didn't drop my uh, hound there. So we're going to go ahead and bring a line of loons in as we struggle here. And then bring minions behind them there. I'm going to go ahead and drop down a raid spell here. Rage spell there and I'm going to look to freeze up the queen there push them through a little bit of a rage in the center there I'm going to do another free spell right down over top of there and let's see what's heading on here it looks like we have that queen is still rolling but I think she'll be distracted enough for my loons to for my minions to get in there and get a lot of that uh, dark elixir let me see how we're doing there that is not going to happen. So we got a good little chunk of it down. I'm going to go ahead and drop in uh, wall breakers here. Oh, as I drop down my my minions. So oh, qu come on, King, go to the center there. Nope. Okay, looks like Queen's going to take Queen's going to go to the right, which is not good, not good at all. So uh, this one isn't turning out the way I had hoped, but we still did, were able to grab a good bit of that loot. Queen, use your ability, pop it, which is cool. King might be able to go take a few good shots. Hopefully, he doesn't go to his left and go after that gold storage. Let's see where he's going to go. Come on, dude. Ah, uh, you knew you were going to go that way, but uh, it's all good. Hopefully, he can take out that gold storage and then work his way back in here. We can use the ability once he pops in there. Let me see what these skellies are going to do. Might have to use it, the ability a little bit earlier than I had hoped, but he's going ahead and he is taking out those skeletons. Uh, they're taking a little bit of a bite out of them, but he's going to go in. I'm going to go ahead and pop that ability right now. Pop the barbarians out. He's going to go after go after that dark elixir storage. Go after that dark elixir drill, and I'm able to take out all of that dark elixir town hall. Boom down, none on the board. We're going to jump out of that raid. So hey wasn't the prettiest raid it was rather ugly but it was still able to walk away with over 5,000 in dark elixir and 1200 for the loot bonus here so that's a win that's pretty cool i'm happy with that happy i didn't super fail it was a kind of like a minor fail but not a super fail but uh was still able to pull it off like i said with these other armies that you guys might be using uh, not sure if you're able to pull in over 5,000 Dark Elixir, but I think that is just a really good uh, a measuring stick of where using loons in your attacks can be in your farming, uh, in your war. I'm sure uh, these guys are still using loons and still uh, going crazy, but I'm really happy that uh, loons are still viable for farming. I'm still using them. As you can see, the loons over there right below my head, 
Uh, they're still flying high. They're still going strong. Let me know down below what you guys are using. Comment. Let me know if you're switching to loons, if uh, you've never gone away from them, or if you're still kind of afraid to use loons in your farming, in your everyday farming. Comment that down below. Make sure you punch a like on the video. Subscribe for future videos. We're getting into more of the Let's Play over here on the Builder's Base. As you can see, I'm getting into like a mid-level uh, Builder Hall 3 and uh, trying to get into that. Uh, I'm having fun with it, but I'm trying not to play too much because I'm looking to really keep it for recording, but also get my regular videos out like this farming one. So uh, hope you guys liked the video and we will catch you guys later.